Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin, an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. And I'm Adam, former indoor player and coach, current beach coach, and most importantly, Sarah's husband. I love the sarcastic tone he takes when he says that. No <sighs> sarcasm, no sarcasm. Before we get started, we need to give a shout out. Well, it's, I know this doesn't seem like it happened, but it's been, Sarah's been on the road for three weeks. So I'm super excited because I haven't watched IQ in like three weeks. So I'm ready to go. Adam loves to let everybody know the exact timeline that we're operating on here. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? He's like, so these comments, and meanwhile, you guys probably saw the episode like eight weeks ago. Anyways. Yeah, I'm just is. very in the moment, which is something I love about him. But we need to give a shout out. Do you want to do it? No, you do it. Okay, we have to give a shout out. As Adam said, I've been in Asia for quite a while. And on my last leg, I was in the Philippines and I got to meet one of you. So this is a huge shout out to Lexter who came and watched one of my games. Honestly, made my trip, I would say. I, Lexter, I'm really disappointed that I didn't get to meet you in person. But look at these little guys that we got from Lexter. Adam was a little confused. I had to explain who each character was and why they were dressed like the animal. Well, I, in fairness, I picked the owls out first, which I found out doesn't mean anything to me yet. So. Fair. So we're obsessed. These are gonna go on our shelf next to our Haikyuu manga collection. Um, so thank you, and it was so great meeting you. You're the best. Um, last episode. I need the recap. I, I mean, it was on, the big one. I was on one. <laughs> Let me tell you, for all of you who are worried about me, maybe you should be. Oh my God. I was like hyperventilating, sobbing. Winners and losers. You guys know how I feel about that episode. One of my top high Q episodes of all time. Well, and I think you're with everybody on there because the hype for that episode was like I feel like everybody, yeah. everybody was on the verge of just giving spoilers as we got closer no, and closer. No, not on the verge. They they were. You guys almost you crossed the line. Okay. We've got a newbie here, okay? You've got to be careful. But anyways, this episode, I've seen it before, and it was like... I will, I will say, in general, when you have been recording in the past, like, I'm normally just downstairs, so uh -huh. I can't read anything. I don't really know what's going on. I hear you. I would hear you sobbing from time to time <laughs> while, you were, while you were up here, but nothing like what I witnessed. No, episode 16. that was completely unexpected. Um, like I said, if you're worried about me, fair, I'm worried about me. <laughs> but the way that they hit, how it feels to give, to play a sport, to come to the end of your career, to be a, a loser. <sighs> it's perfection. I mean, they have done an incredible job relating this to the actual emotions of what it feels like and i know i've said this before you watch it and you you immediately you meet a new character like i know that guy it's it's this guy i've played with him i've played against him mm -hmm. and and just the reactions and how gutted you are when you lose like it it evokes that emotion and like you see that happen and i can picture like two or three moments that i've been in personally like it just it resonates yeah but and the thing is is like there's only one winner and people always remember the lose the winner <laughs> wow the winner but the percentage of people who are not in that position is huge so they did an incredible job of articulating that and making us feel that clearly me <laughs> um but karasuno won their first match against ikajiri I, I, that's probably the last time I'll say it, so I just had to give it my full, my full effort. I doubt, doubt it. Um, so they've moved on, and they are playing 
Datico, who is Aoni, who is my brother, because we look the same. Tall, blonde, faint eyebrows. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Asahi has a chance at redemption. I'm personally. a big fan. I'm a big fan of the redemption story, but I'm I'm also I'm also a little bit worried. I mean, I made a prediction. You did. I hope that the prediction stands true. And what one, was that prediction? On one match closer, that they will get to the third round, okay. so that they will be Date Tech. Mm -hmm. And I, I hold. I, I, I still think I'm right, but sometimes there are just teams that have your number, and if Asahi does not play well, they are not going to win. So I'm really, I'm really pulling for him. And, but you know, he, I still think he's a little fragile. So uh, I really hope he can come out and start strong and score some points and get into a rhythm early. Otherwise it might be, it might be a long, a long match for him. We will find out yeah. today. We are watching season one, episode 17 of Haikyuu called The Iron Wall, which Adam loves that nickname. Not, um, not great, not a great name for a sorry. Not if you're the opponent, so <laughs> let's see what happens. We are obviously pulling for Karasuno. Um, I will cut familial ties for this match to cheer for Karasuno. Um, so let's see. Does anybody ever cheer for another school? Like, are there people, so are there people out there, fans of the show out there, who have a favorite team other than Karasuna? I'm just curious. The comments are know. rolling in. They're rolling in. Let me Type know. away. Let me know. So, here we go. Episode 17 is coming right now.
そうワイワーク向こうのブロック一歩出遅れたと思ったんですけどねあれがリードブロックですかトスを見てから飛ぶっていうああ今までの対戦校はトスをある程度予測してから飛ぶコミットブロックが多かったから伊達校は徹底したリードブロックトスがどこに上がるのかを見てから飛ぶんだつまりおとりにはなかなか引っかかってくれないっつうことだその分ブロックに一歩出遅れるんだがあの7番それを一気に詰めてきやがるでかい上に生えねえ怖いですねあのリードブロックには手をやる、うん、そうですねあの、uh, ブロックに一歩出遅れてくるのは、まあ、まあ、あの、ブロックに一歩出遅れてくるのは、まあ、まあ、あの、ブロックに一歩出遅れてくるのは、まあ、まあ、あの、ブロックに一歩出遅れてくるのは、まあ、まあ、あの、Three offensive players against two blockers. So you could run the left side out of the pin, the middle runs a 31, and then you have the back row player come kind of over top. So you're always aiming to have three attackers versus two blockers if you're in system. It'll be interesting to see if the back row that they worked and some of those offensive、mm -hmm. things that they practiced come into play here.、Um, but he was quick, he's gonna cause problems for them. and This is one thing where if you aren't used to playing against a middle who can do that, he's really going to impact the way the match goes.、Um, it's going to be tough. Oh, <laughs> baby. Yeah, so this. Karasno, what do you see? Sad, Karasno, this is the first time I've seen this. 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 I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that they shouldn't play an unknown set out of system first. They should have run it in system as like a blend. Kind of, but more what I was thinking was it's a tough way to start a match as your first attack being a back row out of system. I, and especially when your confidence is like. That is literally the hardest place they could have put Asahi to start the match. Well, think about it. Tanaka was setting. No, I get it. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. So, and then they have a middle who was Hinata. Don't want Hinata to hit a, an out of system ball. The only other person because Kageyama just served as Daichi in the front row. That's、yeah. the only person. I'm not, saying it was a, I'm not saying it was a bad choice. I'm just saying, as a hitter coming into a match with no rhythm and then. Given the history of that and having to hit that as the first ball, that's tough. He has a good attitude right yeah, now. That's、though. good. <laughs> Dude, 
you score, just take it. It's fine. ちょっと。相手が取るはず。昨日 Just for oh that. Just for that. <laughs> that was a great drop. Oh, I love that. <laughs> They've got to get him out of the front row. I mean, everything the coaches are saying are spot on. Like, I saw he scored off the block, he got the point, but it doesn't feel good. No, I understand that, but like, hitters need a chance to get into a rhythm too, and like, I understand how getting lucky like that can kind of be like a, whew, got away with one, but like, by seeing the same block again and again, like you find solutions and you find Ideally. ways to adapt. Ideally. Yeah, but like I understand what they're saying. Like it can be exhausting to constantly face that same block, and I don't disagree. But like hitters will take time to adapt too. Yeah, I get that. I think for me, what I saw in that from Asahi was that. Like if you see the block and you go off the block out of bounds intentionally, you're like, I'm good. Like No, he got lucky yeah. for sure. So it's just that feeling of like I didn't mean to do that and now I'm I've you know been blocked twice on two attacks. I'm one and one on the on the stat sheet, but that's not the way it feels. He's gonna have to find a little success here. I'm curious if they can if they're if this is a really good serving team, I'm curious if they're gonna be able to take he not as quick ball out of it, like if they're gonna pass well enough. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, we'll see. I feel a little nervous about my prediction now. Because he doesn't know any better. <laughs> まあ、それは大前提だけどもな。猫間の<笑> どんなチームでも遅かれ早かれ変人速攻になれてある程度ついてくるようになる。お前らの速攻は相当強力な武器だが無敵ってわけじゃない。重要なのはスカイとかな。リエ、よっしゃ。どんな自信系とがらしても、
That feels so good. <laughs> A random toss. Think again. It's too easy to just discount when somebody does something well. I know. And I mean, I get, I get that, you know, it's one off, but that's the kind of attitude that costs you matches when you don't believe that your opponents can do something that they're capable of doing. Oh, this look at that be... reckless toss. Yeah. It's just so random. No, it wasn't. This might be the chink in the armor. In the wall. Assuming, making assumptions? Well, no. If, if <laughs> they have to, not assumptions, <laughs> but I mean, like, if they're such a good blocking team, if he can go that fast, right? And, and is it Seven who's in the middle? What's mm -hmm. his name? Alni. If Alni is read blocking, but you have to get him to start cheating, because he not is so quick, it's gonna start to open up other hitters. And you can now take them out of their comfort zone and apply a little of your own pressure, but they have to pass. And we know reception is questionable here. Yeah. あ、<笑> Slick Rick. Not taking him serious. They're getting hammered on. Do you know what, what is sorry? No, you go first. No. I'm just going on a tangent. What is your thought 
that they lined up Hinata with Aoni. Originally at the start of the game, they're like, oh, they put them in their best service seat rotation. But coincidentally, perhaps, it's also having Hinata lined up with Aoni. Do you think it was intentional? I think that given Tsukushima's offense and the other player's offense, Aoni could get into a good blocking rhythm, but lining up with, he matching up with Hinata, like the variability and the speeds and the locations is probably the best chance for Karasuno to score. Yeah, I, I'm just not sure after one match that they would have enough information to like switch their rotations or know what the other team's gonna do. No, Karasuno switched the rotation. But I'm saying like, you think Ukai saw enough and did that intentionally or wanted to do it? Did it well, they clearly know this team. Yeah, I guess so. I, I think it was all about service reception and trying to get started off. So it was on a coincidence. Good fit. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. I think so. One can hope. Okay, what were you going to say? Um, I'm blanking on the name, but that set, uh, who was the really, really good Brazilian men's setter? Bruno? No. Old. William? Before that. Le oh. Legend. I am blanking on his name. Older than Bruno and William. Yeah. Like he would have been setting when I was playing in college. Why can't I remember his name? Okay, never mind. Fine. It's anyway. I watched him set a pin set from position one live to the left side in rhythm, and I was amazed watching it live. And that reminded mm. me of that play. It was just incredible. That's a big compliment from Adam to Kageyama there, yeah. everybody. I'm more and more impressed with Kageyama's ability to be hacked. Like you know he's good, but now he's now it's happening in match. Like that was legit. And they need a new they need a new strategy. あの速攻が本物なら、リードブロックでは追いつけそうもない。かといって放置すれば無抵抗で殴られ続けるような。そう。10番からの攻撃の可能性がある時だけは、トスじゃなく、10番自体をマークする。トスはある程度予測して飛
The Kuro off Temple Quick, remember that? The Pulse Quick. When they played Nakoma? Yeah. Kageyama can change the speed. Do it. Keep just focusing completely on Hinata. Keep underestimating everybody else. Keep thinking it's lucky. Absolutely. That's what they need to win. If they can, if, if Hinata can score like two or three more times where they really have to focus in though and make a little bit of a bigger adjustment, I saw he's gonna get the game winning kill. You jumped from like one or two points to the game winner yeah, very good. quick. Yeah. There's a lot of game left to be played. Definitely. And I was playing well though, he's stepping up. I like that they implemented that off tempo quick that they saw in a coma run. Oh, 100%. And it's perfect for him because he's so fast, they have to go with him. And if they mix up the tempo like that, that's, that's tough for a blocker. I'm just really, and then they picked up the back row attack from Nakoma too. Yeah. I mean, props to my boy Ukai. Mm hmm. I just can't believe that the match is just starting and you're already jumping to conclusions about it's, how it's gonna end. It's just a feeling. It's just a feeling. I like how it's gone so far for that. Black eyed peas. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no, <excuse> me. <laughs> Silent until he gets a block, baby. I like him. There's the overload, baby! Oh. 
前の道も切り開いてくれ。あらボイスが。どうぞ。今決めたの。俺じゃないのに。No conversation needed. That's how you're a teammate. Hundred percent. Saigyo no otori mo ace ni otorasu kakkoi da. Smile. Saigyo no otori. Sa, kochi no temochi no buki wa kore de zenbu sashita. Time to go head to head, baby. Shounen banazo. I can relate. As a middle, when that other middle commits with you, and your hitters get a one-on-one -on -one outside or just in general, it's a good feeling. I am so glad that that being of the best decoy ever moment came full circle into an actual match. Um, can't remember the exact episode that it was, but when Kageyama was like. Getting so mad at Hinata, remember? Yeah. And he was like, "Give him the ball. This guy wants to be an ace. I'm gonna set him right now." And then he just went off on Hinata about like what it actually means to be an ace, and that like being a decoy is just as important because a point is a point. Remember that episode? Yeah. Why don't I just tell you the whole thing? Um, Preach. I'm I ahead. love that it came full circle. To have he not to be like I didn't score, and you thought that he was gonna be like complaining that he didn't score because you were like, oh stop it, am I wrong? I got the impression that when he not to started that statement, and he's like, I didn't even hit the ball. You said something like, oh stop it, you. Oh, a point is a point or something. But like previously. Yeah. yeah. Like no, in this like a second ago. No, I don't think I said that. Let's rewind the tape. Um, <laughs> I definitely wasn't thinking that. And for him, it sounded like he was gonna be complaining that he didn't score or that he was sad that he didn't score. But then that when he finished it off, is like that felt incredible. Yeah. And then Kageyama calling him the best decoy ever. Oh, I got goosebumps in that play a hundred percent. Oh yeah, it was so well run, and you could see Kageyama both and Hinata were just so happy. I mean, Kageyama's run a great match so far. He's done what he has to do. He is in control. He's moving the pieces around. I'm curious. So we're getting to the to the tail end of the set here,、mm -hmm. and he's got no more tricks left. Like nothing、yeah. that nobody hasn't seen. So、As、now, as Kai said, yeah. All of our secret weapons are out in the open. So now it really comes down to what plays are you going to run to move people around? Because you don't have the element of excuse me, you don't have the element of surprise anymore. <laughs>、okay. Now we get to see the real gamesmanship. Yeah. How are we going to see this chess match unfold? Because now everybody has laid their pieces on the table. Well, and not only that, but then how do people respond under pressure,、mm -hmm. right? So they have a lead, you know. There's gonna be some bad passes. There's gonna be some tight situations. There's gonna be two-man blocks. Like, how how do they function now? You gotta be aggressive because、yeah. you know what? When you're gonna take big swings, you're gonna get blocked sometimes. But you gotta keep going. It's a it's a decent cushion though. They have three points, four points now. Yeah, yeah, but now they don't have the element of surprise anymore. The Datico knows what、yeah. what to expect. Thoughts on Aoni? I mean, I love a competitor. And also, I am interrupting you because that's my specialty. Don't give her any flack for it. <laughs> Fun fact: Adam's favorite skill is blocking. Blocking. So I felt like Adam would feel a real connection to Alni, but if you don't know pressure, <laughs> no, I, I I definitely do, and I can appreciate 
his competitiveness. I think it's incredible, normally at this age, with players that are that big or that tall, normally A, they're not as developed as he is. Like he's, he's got muscle on him, like he's not just a gangler. <laughs> and then on top of that, that skill to be able to read and move that quickly when you're that size is, is impressive. Like watching him, he's, he has all of the traits of a national team middle. I would say, watching that. Yeah. And I mean, his, his eye movement to drop the hand in on the block. That was a nice that's, move. that's incredible. I love the intensity. I, I mean, I'm, I'm usually not rushed to judgments, but. I do. He's, he's <laughs> sitting on the porch of the bro house right now. I didn't even have to say a word. I, I just. You didn't even say a word. I like everything about him. I just, I just like it. Okay, man, a few words, but Adam respects the skills. The skills are worth doing the talking. And the, and the attitude. I like the attitude. Mm. Like he the looks intensity. like he kind of stares down his nose at people because he's just bigger than everybody. And when he stares them down, he's like, "What's up?" All right. This is gonna be a slug fest. Yeah. I also props to Noya. Good covers. I, I Good liked, passing. I liked his impact on the match, and I know I'm gonna get flack if I don't say anything. Suga, that's mm. that's what you want to see. Like that that to me is how you show your support of being a good teammate. They're doing a good mm -hmm. job. He's cheering them on. He's remembering the things he's told them. It sucks to be on the bench. I get that, but that genuine reaction of being happy, especially for Asahi, and doing that. My guy. Oh, all right. Let us know what you think. This match is clearly going to continue. We have not even seen the tip of the iceberg yet. So let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, as always, we would be so happy if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned because we need to see more Karasuno versus Datico next week. Thanks, guys.